Hey everyone, it's Bunny over at the Woolly Bee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do something different. Um, different in the sense that it's not pure crochet, it's not a crochet item, although it is um, one of the new crafts that I'm pursuing. Um, I made a little journaling card um, for a junk journal that I'll be working on. And then I simply crocheted a little shell border around just to um, give my little card that personal touch. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did on a smaller tag. Now this is just um, some cardstock. It was a 12 by 12 sheet. I simply cut it down into the shape of a tag, did some stenciling. Um, I don't know what happened here. I think I got some glue on my project when it was done. Um, and I'm simply going to decide which side I want to crochet on. This can be used for journaling, I suppose. So I'll leave that as the back. And I'm going to be crocheting on this side of my little tag. Now I'm going to use a smaller needle first. And I'm going to give myself some... Uh, guiding uh, pokey holes I suppose is what we'll call it I'm going to be working from anywhere really from a corner and I want to work about five millimeters inside of the tag um, and then simply give myself a guiding hole I will poke these through a little bit later and I'm simply trying to keep them all in line. This is just to guide me for when I actually use my bigger needle to poke these holes a little later. So that is all that we'll be doing for now. You're going to go right around your little tag or card or really whatever project you think of adding some crochet element to. Simply do the same, trying to keep things as even as I can. I'm not going to let you watch me do the whole thing. <laughs> it's quite a tedious little process. Um, and I'm sure there are many other videos that might have a better way of doing this. This is just the way I find that works for me. So... You can go ahead and do these for your card or your tags or whatever cardstock project you are working on currently. And I will see you in a little bit. Once I've poked all my holes through, I'll meet up with you and we'll start with our sewing section. Gosh, I forgot to mention that before you start with... Um, trying to crochet your border or sewing on anything do make sure that you've already embellished your card or or tag or whatever um, inking stamping adding elements to it do all of that before you do the crochet border because you don't want to get any ink on the um, thread well unless you do want to <laughs> it's completely up to you whatever you do with your project that is your business. So <laughs> there's no uh, policing in, in crafting. So whatever you end up doing is fine. Um, this is just what I find works for me. So let me finish up with my little tag and come back to you. Okay, now I'm, going to, I'm done with poking my holes with my bigger needle. And I am going to give myself... A really long piece of thread to sew with and then try to thread this needle on camera oh yay I did it <laughs> that never works first time <laughs> Depending on 
how you want to work your project if you want to maybe have some threads hanging from the top of your tag that is where we will start our project if you want some threads hanging from the bottom you can choose to start there it does not matter the stitch work is the same there is no counting of anything but you do need to leave a thread if that is your intention so let us just make a little knot in the yarn doesn't really matter But I'm leaving the thread so that if you wanted to maybe add some beads to your little tag or anything like that, you could do so. Um, so you would then choose to go in the front of your project to have that little bit of thread hanging out. Uh, or you could go around the back. Does not matter. There is still a way to bring that yarn forward. So I'm going to have a bit of thread hanging. Um, I'll bring that forward a little later. I just find that it's um, cumbersome if it's in my way in the front. So I just don't work that way. And then we're simply going to work again back into that same spot. And have the yarn or have your needle go under your thread. And that's all that we'll be doing for now we're going to be working left to right now you can do this right to left although this is the way that I just find works for me I always just have my thread there I'm gonna go through the hole see that the thread is behind the needle and pull it through doesn't look like much just yet don't worry about that sorry just working with a really long piece of thread is extremely cumbersome so let's try this again yarn is where I can see it or the thread is where I can see it needle goes in the front I'm making sure that the thread is behind the needle and then I'm simply pulling the thread through and what we want to do is catch the thread between the two stitches now you don't want to pull too tight because we have to go and place crochet stitches in there when we are done threading uh, these little holes that we made so once again I'm watching and I'm being careful that the yarn is just where I can see it and I'm going through the next hole making sure that that thread is behind the needle and I'm simply pulling through now, I do guide the thread through these holes because it's gonna start twisting and turning in on itself very soon and you're gonna become frustrated with that I promise you <laughs> uh, it's what happened to me a little bit earlier but just take your time you can pull the thread out of your needle and then thread it again straightening out everything I've done that quite a few times but I find if I just take my time go slow it doesn't tangle up as much so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit off camera this is quite tricky for me to film I've never done this before the thread is very very thin sorry I forgot to say that it is a crochet thread number five I'm using L um, in color mantis it is a 50 gram ball of yarn or thread 100% acrylic not that I see that that matters you can use cotton you can use embroidery thread whatever you have available 
um, I love that with junk journaling you can make your project your own so this is basically the information I have for the thread that I'm using and let's continue as you can see the little loops are quite loose they're not pulling or anything like that you don't want them too tight because then you're going to struggle to get your crochet needle in there a little bit later when we come around so you want them really loose we'll be using a two millimeter or a 2.5 whichever you have available so i'm going to continue you'll be doing the same and we will meet up once you have gone and sewn all around your tag or your card or whichever project you're working on so pause the video finish up your sewing and we'll meet each other soon okay guys i'm back and i have done um or i have sewn around all of my little tag and i'm at the end here and i'm simply going to i don't know if you can see this is where we began and you can see one of the threads is leaning over so this is my last stitch i made and i'm simply going to go in underneath this loop as well as that one trap them both there so that i have a straight edge and then go around the back slip that thread through there and tie those two pieces together that is it for our sewing part we now have very many loops to work into this is what our work should look like at this stage the loops are nice and loose and you can now choose where you want to start crocheting um, it's not very hard let me just get some yarn going I'm gonna just place a slip knot on my hook And then choose a spot <laughs> as to where to begin I'm gonna just start at the beginning it really doesn't matter and we'll be working some single crochet into these loops so slip knot on your hook going through under the first loop or any which loop where you want to start and make a single crochet now you can leave that thread as well we'll make it part of that lot which means I should maybe leave a longer bit of tail sorry about that let's start again I'm just going in under any loop and making a single crochet I'll be placing one single crochet in every loop leaving everything nice and loose once again we don't want to pull on anything because we don't want to end up damaging our cord or tag or anything like that so leave everything nice and loose when you come to little corners like this place two double crochet in there stitch count does not matter I promise you you will see how very simple this is and then one single crochet in every little loop all the way around at the next corner place two single crochet in two stitches just around your corner and i'll meet up with you once we're back at the beginning at the top of the tag come right to back to the beginning and I'm simply going to slip stitch into that first single crochet do a chain one and another one 
and then I'm going to yarn over and place four double crochet into that same stitch. So that's three, four, and five. So that makes a little shell stitch. We have the chain two in the beginning and four double crochet following. In the next stitch, we're simply going to make a single crochet. In the next stitch, five double crochet. And that is the very, very simple stitch sequence for this little crochet project. Simple shell stitch. We are not skipping any stitches. Um, we'll do one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by five double crochet in the next stitch. That is the stitch sequence. Um, if at some point at the end you find that your stitch work is not working out, please don't worry. It's a very simple fix. I'll see how I go along with mine. And if I don't have any skip stitches, I'll make sure to skip one for you just to show you how to fix the end. So go ahead with your little shell stitches. Five double crochet, one single crochet, followed by five double crochet. That is the repeat. Um, and that's all you, that you'll be doing all along your little tag or card or whatever project you're working on. And I'll see you when we're back at the beginning to join and finish up. Okay, so I am nearing the end of my little project and by my stitch count I can already see my next stitch must be a single, then a little shell, a single, a shell, a single and a shell. But we want to end on a single. So I'm simply going to skip this next one. Skip the stitch, go into the next for a single, into the next for five double crochet, single in the next, five double crochet in the next. And then single crochet in that last stitch. We're then going to slip stitch to our beginning chain two. Just to finish off the project. Cut your yarn, pull that tail in through. And it's going to go join the others at the back. So this is what our project should look like. I'm going to just maneuver this little tail to join these other lot and that's simply by pulling the yarn through maybe that way And then grabbing all of them and bringing them to the front so that we can string possibly some beads or something on there to make it pretty. And then you just want to lay your little project under something heavy so that you, these shells can flatten out. And you'll have a gorgeous tag or a journaling card. To use however you wish i'm gonna come back let me go see if i can find some beads that correspond with uh, what i've got going on here with a little green and yellow and i will see you soon okay guys i'm back and i did manage to find a few beads i don't have very much of a selection as yet but this is what my little tag ended up looking like i hope you guys had fun making this little project with me and i hope that you um join me again in future projects thank you so much Bye bye <laughs>